Uh oh. Mystery tens? Hey guys, Ziri here, and today, rolled up to your best pals at Walmart. No physical altercation, funny moments this time around, but picked up six of these potentially hostile hockey card mystery tins from your best pals at MJ Holdings, featuring four factory sealed packs. Look for mystery M's. Ooh, seated one and two. Now, I know this isn't the first iteration of these mystery tins. There was one with like a yellow cover on it, I think. I believe you got four packs plus ten cards. For these, it's four packs, and mystery M's are one and two packs. But yeah, picked up six total of these from your best pals. These cost 50. 92 or some pretty hostile price got six of them here so there should be 24 packs in here honestly don't know what to expect on the front there you got a 15 16 series one pack on the side you got a 16 17 series one pack i've honestly haven't seen any of these open so i don't really want to judge it until i actually see it so might as well get right into it okay first 10 i do not want to call these hostile yet 16 bucks four packs is like 425 a pack you already know the product i'm thinking of is it gonna be in here so let's just count down three two one bam Oh, okay. I was thinking 12, 13 score, but we got artifacts retail. Just as bad. Okay, so we just got four. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my gosh, hey, we got a bonus one? How generous. All right, let me make sure there's nothing else in here. Okay, hey, you got a tin too. So that's handy. But right, here are the first five packs for one of these. 12, 13 score. Artifacts retail, 16, 17. Still aggressive fecal matter. Then we're hunting Tage Thompson and Kirill Kaprizov. We got 17, 18 series one retail pack. That's a five card per pack. So it's like a blaster pack. So young guys would be one and six. Yeah, one and six. We got an eight card pack of 2021 series two retail packs. So young guys are one and four. So we got score in our facts. Let's just... <sighs> okay. Okay, now on to Artifacts Retail. It's just aggressive manure. Rookie Redemption cards, 1 in 196. What a Matthews Redemption is 1 in 196. Obviously, Matthews, Marner. Large amount of the good guys are Redemptions, but here's the base for Artifacts. I mean, decent looking base that year, but yeah. There's Cal Turris, Mike Smith, Stamkos, Ryan Miller, Shea Weber, just base. I mean, pretty good profit margins for MJ Holding there. I mean, score packs are like 7 cents. Artifacts Retail packs, probably like a couple bucks, not even. This is like a blaster pack, so it's probably like a couple bucks. And this is probably a few bucks, so it's probably like 5 Five dollars worth of packs here, not even so good margins for MJ holding there. Let's do 2021 series two. Hunting Caprice off. Do we have anything in here? Oh, we got Dazzler's Green. So there's Drew Nyquist, Sorrell. Oh, POE it's like a throwback POE too. That's decent. Taylor Hall. So like the 2010 team there. World Juniors Taylor Hall. POE. That's a tough pull. It's like one in 192 there. So I know it's a Crosby from that year. Also got Dazzler's Green of John Tavares. So that's a good pack there. We got Boquist, Gardner, and Manta. All right, 17, 18 series one. Hunting one of the hottest guys in the hobby. Here's the Tage Thompson Young Guns. The Raw is doing this. Pretty darn ridiculous. Considering that was a common card. Yeah, he's a great player. I've been meaning to do some sort of 17-18 series hunting Hosang and Tage Thompson now. But let's see if we have a Young Guns in here. Wouldn't mind pulling that Tage Thompson. Doesn't look like we have one in here though. There's Matt Martin, Brayden McNabb, Kyle Brodziak. I hope they're all in here. That'd be nice. Jonathan Quick and Jacob Borch. Alright, that was the first mystery tin. Let's open the second one. Okay, second. Oh... Oh, oh, we got eight. Oh my god, eight card pack 15, 16, series one, and then the remaining. Oh, okay, all right. Well, mildly spicy here. Dang, that's worth it alone right there. That pack, we get some 12 13 score. We got an MVP retail pack from 15, 16, so McDavid year again, but it's stuff like redemption. And we got a 2021 series two pack again. So, dang, so let's do a score here. I swear they made like a trillion of these packs, but I'll just go through it semi normally. There, there you go. These are absolute fecal matter. These are the hanger packs, too. Okay, what else do we have here? Yeah, just fecal matter. Sean Hunwick. All right, let's do 2021 series two. Then we got some. 15 15, 16 packs. We got a Young Guns here. Uh, more base here. Oh, we got a Canvas. Ovi, UD Canvas. That's a good Canvas to get there. Alex Ovechkin, UD Canvas. More base there. And we're left with these. 15, 16 MVP. Obviously, McDavid in here. Expired Redemption. 1 in 9,600 packs. And autographs. Actual autographs were a thing in MVP way back when. 1 in 2,400 packs for a blaster pack. This is definitely a blaster pack, but hey, maybe we'll get a gold script. That'd be nice. But here's a base. Keith Yandel, Mike Green, Ovi Base. Got Louis Erickson and Alex Steen. All right, 15, 16, Series 1. It just happens that I have this. I've been sitting on for a while. I've been analyzing the market of the Connor McDavid Young Guns. Here's a raw value. When I open this, do a video on this. I'll do a full breakdown, all the grades, all that. Discuss what I think about the card. But yeah, we got a loose pack here. It might be from this. It might be from a retail box. Not a blaster pack. It might be a mega box pack. 15, 16. Big game hunting here. Connor McDavid Young Guns. Let's see if there's one in here. I'll automatically tell. Hopefully we don't get Evgeny Medvedev or Stanislav Galiev or Riles Kennens, but Brain Shen. I opened so much this way back when Andy Green. Ryan Miller. Ryan Strom. Looks like we got base pack Jonas Hiller. Ryan Boyle. 
Dan Girardi, and Nikita Kucherov. So pretty impressive to see that caliber of a pack from a seemingly predatory little tin repack thing. So let's get on to the third one and let's see what's in the third one. Okay, Hunting Tage Thompson again. I wish these were not blaster packs, but it looks like we got one last pack in that one actually. Two scores this is probably the worst one yet. And then 17, 18 series one blaster pack and then the series two 2021 again. So open up these two here. Okay. And yes, I have pulled two autos from score. Still violent fecal matter. Like, I may use this to wipe my butt later, so. And then we got these two packs. Let's get that Caprice off. Or Tim Stusla. I'll take a Young Guns. Uh, do we have one here? Or another POE? Oh, actually, we have a Canvas Young Guns. It might be a POE as well, because the POE is that color as well. Who the heck's horizontal? I think Stusla might be horizontal. That'd be nice. Uh, face there. So let's go this way. Is it Tim's? Oh my gosh. Uh, oh. uh, Tim Stusla. Canvas Young Guns. <laughs> Well, that just made the break right there. Got Tim Stutzla. That's really nice there. But yeah, Stutzla, great young player. Definitely high on him. And this card will go out to Germany to Benjamin. So that's a great card there. What a pull. Dang. Now let's get Tage Thompson. I'm kind of shocked. Is there a young guy in here? There is a young. Oh my gosh. Uh, Sean Monahan, PK, uh, Eric Stahl, Bobrovsky. Who else is in here? Best. Alex DeBrink. Yeah. The Brinkett, the guy's teammate, Young Guns. There you go, there's the Brinkett, excellent player. Production hasn't been there, especially the goals with the Ottawa Senators. He's part of Ottawa now, I should point that out, but there you go. Look at that. Dang. Alex the Brinkett, Young Guns. We have three more to go. All right, number three of these, okay? Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to go clear up my Walmart, all right. As soon as I'm done, oh my, okay, as soon as I'm done recording. Okay, hopefully they're still open because I'm a lunatic that records late at night, but when I went to one Walmart, there was only two there. Then I went to another, there was a bunch, but whew, okay, we got 12, 13 score again, whatever. But look at that. We're hunting Kaprizov, Eichel, and the McDavid canvas. That's an eight card pack. Oh my gosh, 15, 16 series two makes an appearance. Holy jeez. Uh, okay, well, here's score. We got a Henrik first goal there. I'm actually looking for an Andrew Shaw now. I think I have it, but wouldn't mind another. Next 12, 13 score pack. Yeah, Sean Okay, then we got some series packs here. 2021 Series 2. Uh, let's get a Young Guns. I'll take another Stutzler canvas. I don't mind that. Oh, we got a Portraits rookie. Mikey Anderson, of course. 2021 Mikey Anderson. Good player, but get him way too much. And now we have 15, 16 Series 2. Yeah, we're looking for anything McDavid in here. I should definitely get another Hobby Box to make a video of this, but marquee rookie update. There's so many good things in McDavid in here. <laughs> Obviously, the canvas Young Guns is a target. They have 1 in 48 packs, and there's 30 on the checklist, so the odds are not in our favor. But if we see a horizontal canvas, then it might be him. <laughs> right there. For Steve, that'd be insane. Riley Nash, no, Yurko, Kopitar, then we got Tori Kuga base pack, okay, Scott Darling, and Charlie Coyle. All right, let's hunt Connor McDavid again. Looks like I'm gonna have to roll up to Walmart's here, but uh, maybe not. I might not be that hostile, but I mean, other people are aggressively hostile in that regard, so. Delorne, fight hostilities with hostilities. Elias Lindholm, Justin Falk, and a portrait, Joe Pavelski. So, McDavid's rookie portraits would be in Series 2, but there's a Pavelski regular portraits. Orlama, I've opened so much as Laterra, Deharnay, and Lettinen. Right, we got two more of these. Also, stay tuned for this. I mean, I look forward to talking about this. I opened so much of this stuff. Yeah, let's open up another one, see if we can get another 15, 16 Series 1 pack. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, full force. Okay, I'm liking this. Oh my gosh, I'm about to go see if there's any more at Walmart. So here are the packs again. Two familiar packs there. 1560 full force retail. I love this product way back when. It was a one-off. It was a weird product. A 3D freshman card. You can probably figure out if they're in there because they're thick cards. They're kind of a tough pull. That's why I kind of really like them. Not like the young guns that are one in four. They're like one in 20. They're even tougher for retail. Where are the rookies here? I know there's a blueprint. There's a lot of interesting stuff in here. Uh, I don't know, but goal autograph. One in 315. Cool pack. I'll save that to the end. Let's open up this 12. 13 score pack. Uh, there's James Reimer. Uh, Jared. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, next pack here. I'm opening these backwards. Oh, Sean Couturier first goal. Okay, well, there's that. All right, 2021 Series 2. Take another Stutzla. Don't mind. Uh, Bjork. Oh, we got a rookie. Yeah, Victor Soderstrom. Update marquee rookie. Okay, try to get Tage Thompson once again. I mean, I'll take Nico Heischer. Who else? McAvoy. I mean, Besser used to be one of the top guys in there. I don't think he is anymore, but Staging. Matt Benning. Hey, we got a canvas. It is Matt Niskin. Upper deck canvas. Okay, so we got a canvas. Troy Brown. Kevin Fiala. And full force. Where the heck is the full force freshman? Are they even on here? Or am I blind? Uh, oh, one in 32 packs. So they're tough. Pretty sure it's the blaster pack. Opened a lot of this way back when. Enjoyed it. We don't have a full force freshman because they're like the 3D cards from Tim Hortons pretty much. They're made the same, but Dylan Stroh. And then we got Adam Henrique. It's really cool though. Aaron Ekblad. And then we get Corey Crawford. Andres Lee. All right, now on to the final mystery tin. I am shocked. MJ Holdings, dang. Redeeming themselves again. Like sometimes they have really good products. What's that product right there. There's one that was excellent. There was people telling me they got a dry saddle future watch auto. And then there's other ones that are just violent fecal matter. 
Oh, ooh, we got a bonus card. We got a Mila Lucci 1213 scorecard. This been fricked with? Hopefully not. No, I don't think it's been fricked with. I don't know, but looks like the final one's kind of meh. We got a 1516 Series 2 pack. And then these two, so. Score, geez. Okay, well, oh, Travis Turnbull, okay. And then we get next pack up here. Okay, Brendan Dillon and uh, Jimmy Hart, okay. And the final two packs for these mystery tins. Like, dang, okay. Actually, very enjoyable. Great success. Uh, series 2 here. I'll take Capri's off right now. Or not. No, okay, no Capri's off, okay. All right, we'll take the McDavid canvas instead. 15, 16, Series 2, or Jack Eichel. Maybe a Shea Theodore, I don't know. Somebody solid, Soros. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, 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 oh. Could be good if that's Oilers, that's good. More base there. Take a Connor Mc. The Buffalo, hey, I'll take Jack. Hey, okay, I'll take a Jack Eichel. OPG update, marquee rookie. Not bad at all. Quality. Okay, well, dang, these are good. So, yeah, guys, there's six of these Walmart MJ Holdings mystery tins. Expect 12, 13 score, but I mean, bunch of 15, 16 packs. Also, some other quality packs like 2012 Series 2 and 17, 18 Series 1. Like, dang, really good there. 16 bucks. I mean, if you can find them, absolutely dang. Wow. Okay, well, holy crap. I have to hop in my car right now. So, yeah, guys, stay tuned for more breaks to come. And as always, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.